In this video, we're going to talk about key loggers. We're first going to talk about what they are and the different types of key loggers. We're also then going to talk about how we can protect ourselves against them. And then we're going to jump over to my web browser and I'm going to show you on Amazon how easy they are to get and what they look like. So a key logger, by definition, it's any sort of a device that can capture keyboard input. So if I'm typing on my keyboard, somebody's gonna be able to capture that input. And if we think about somebody logging into the system, well, if they put in a username or a password to their online banking account, or if they're just simply putting their username and password to log into Windows Active Directory, if somebody has a key logger on there, they're gonna be able to capture all that input. The most common type is going to be a physical key logger, which is a USB key logger. And what that'll do and the way that it's set up is it plugs into your USB port. It has its own USB port. And then the person will plug in your keyboard. And so as you input into your keyboard, it's going to go through that before it goes into your system. And they're going to be able to capture all your input. Now, people can also use software. So there can be malware where they are utilizing malware software to capture your keyboard input as well. And then lastly, people could either be snooping on your network, listening to data transmissions across the network, or they could be doing a wireless keylogger, trying to exploit your wireless keyboard to capture the wireless input and signals from your wireless keyboard. In addition to that, some of these key loggers, specifically the USB ones, some of them even transmit a wireless signal. And that way, as you're inputting data onto your keyboard, it's going to transmit it to the malicious user so they get it real time as you're typing. So how do we protect ourselves from key loggers? Well, the first thing is physically inspecting our machines. So if we have a device, where we're going to be inputting some sensitive data. Maybe we go in every morning and we check and make sure that the connection from our keyboard goes directly into the computer and there is no key logger attached to it. In addition to that, we could physically secure our desktop machines. So we could put them in some sort of a secure rack or a desk that has a cabinet that locks closed so nobody can gain access to those ports. We can do that as well. Um, when it comes to trying to protect ourselves against logical key loggers, we can use anti-malware software. So that way, our anti-malware software is going to detect that malware before it's able to do anything and it's going to quarantine and delete it off of our system and protect us against, hopefully, against logical key loggers. The last thing that we can do is we can utilize encryption. So this deals specifically with the wireless key logger. So if somebody is snooping and listening to our network traffic or they're trying to get data directly off of our wireless keyboard via the signal that it's emitting, we can use encryption. And we can use encryption not only um, from the perspective on our entire network encrypting the traffic, but we can buy encrypted wireless keyboards as well. So you can purchase an AES encrypted wireless keyboard, and we'll talk about AES encryption later in the course. So that's what a keylogger is. That's how we protect ourselves from it. Now let's hop on over to Amazon because I just want to show you how easy it is and how inexpensive these keyloggers are. So if you just type in wireless keylogger or USB keylogger, you'll notice that there are lots of different options. And for the most part, they are fairly affordable. Um, there's nothing on here that's overly expensive. So let's just take a look at these first two right here. Now, this is going to be our standard keylogger. The way that it works is this would go into the computer and then you would plug the USB cable from your keyboard into here. And so anything that goes through your keyboard has to go through this. So it's going to capture the input, then it's going to send it onto your computer and your computer is not going to be any of the wiser. It's not going to know what's going on. It's going to capture this. And then at the end of the day, the person that plugged this into your system can come back at the end of the day when you're gone unplug it, take it home, plug it into their computer, and see what type of information you input onto your keyboard. Now, in addition to that, this is one that also does a Wi-Fi signal. So if we open this up, open up in a new tab, what it does is if we take a look at this, 
This works as a Wi-Fi hotspot to connect from any computer, smartphone, or tablet. So let's actually, let's make this a little larger in terms of the font size. There we go. So what you can see is via right here, works as a Wi-Fi hotspot so you can connect any device to this. Then you can remotely access the keystrokes that the person is keystroking in from a web browser without any software and remotely retrieve that data with ever being remotely close to this device. So long as you're within the Wi-Fi signal, then you have access to those keystrokes. And so these are examples of some of these devices and these different key loggers. Let me go ahead and reset this zoom. And like I said, I mean, you can get one for as low as $35 here with four out of five stars on Amazon. So this is definitely an attack methodology of vulnerability that can easily exploit a lot of, let's say, lack of awareness and training and having safeguards in place. So, I mean, if you think about this type of a risk and a vulnerability, you really don't have to have much technical aptitude at all to exploit potential users and implement a keylogger into their network or onto a system. So anyways, that's our introduction to what a keylogger is and how we protect and prevent from being exploited by them. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.